Hey there guys, thank you for tuning in for more Elden Ring. So, I just wanted to hop on real quick. I'm currently editing part 4, which is the video you're watching right now. And I wanted to mention that while I was recording the video, I was kind of out of it. It was really early in the morning, and I remember not feeling well. And I realized that now, while editing that, man, I said a lot of stuff that sounded weird. By, by weird, I mean like, the way I said it, because I sounded very tired. Even though I kind of was, at the same time I kind of wasn't, it was a really weird feeling. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to say that might not make sense, and there's some stuff that you might not even be able to hear what I'm saying. So apologies for that. Alright, yeah, that's going to be it. So I'm going to switch over to my actual video where you're going to hear my real intro for part 4, and yeah, here it goes. Hey there guys, welcome to my channel, and welcome to more Elden Ring. So, as you can see, I'm back in Limgrave, if you don't recognize it. I'm on this tiny island here, and in order to get here, you have to go to the coastal cave that's found on the outer skirts, the beaches here, and you'll find a cave that'll go directly right here. There's a path that goes to a boss, and there's a path that goes here, towards this island. And I was actually, in the last video, I was over here in Khalid, exploring that place, and I decided to travel back because I wanted to do more exploration, see what I can find, and there is actually a lot I missed. I discovered this Stormfoot Catacombs, and I right next to it, I discovered the Groveside Cave. And these are very beginner level dungeons, like places you can go to right off the bat when you start the game. So it was somewhat of a breeze for me. I was able to use my dual wielding sword to make some good amount of damage, and my summoning came in clutch. It was super useful. So I went to the Coastal Cave lastly, and I stopped playing after I got here to the Church of Dragon Communion. Now, I didn't know this is here. I always wanted to go on this island and see what we have here, and unfortunately, I can't do anything, which is really sad. Uh, basically, this place is a somewhere you can go where whenever you kill a dragon, you get its heart, and you come to this altar, and in this altar, you have three choices of spells, of like dragon spells, to exchange with the heart. And this one, you can like channel a dragon to breathe fire, you can channel a dragon to you know, uses claws, and the third one, you can channel a dragon to eat people, right? Bite foes before caster. And these are all pretty cool. And like every other thing, like everything else, you need like faith, you need arc, all that sort of stuff, you need to level up. I still need to level my strength to hold some weapons that I want to use, so I'm gonna have to save up some runes for that. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. I like this. I like how the whole weather changes and I found out yesterday um, not from my gameplay but from a clip online that apparently when you do like elemental magic and stuff it actually changes damage depending on the weather like for example when you do fire damage in a rain it's not gonna do as much damage um, if there's no rain and also when you do lightning damage during a rain like during a lightning storm then it'll do a lot more damage and I thought that was cool lastly I got this bow and that's it so, I'm going to rest real quick. And now we're going to travel back all the way to Khaled. Because I want to discover the rest of it. Like grab this last fragment here. And travel my best. Travel all the way up here to the tippy tip of this island. Because I want to be able to discover every single thing here. Not kill everything, but discover everything before I go back and face the boss back over here, which I still haven't done. You know, you know what's really weird? It's really weird seeing how I've been playing this game for hours, but on the PlayStation thing, it says zero progress. Isn't that funny? That's really funny. Like I've been playing for hours, like all this stuff, and do you count none of it as progress? Wow, that's sad. So I've done nothing here ever since I ended the last video. I just left. I just left and did all that stuff in in um, Limgrave. Okay, so our trail's here. Is there any blockage? I want to go here. 
Look at this. It's like a small little town. Wait, have I been there before? I don't think so. Wait, let's let's go check just in case, because I don't recognize that on the map. Whoa, who are those? Those are like really big shrimps. Catch me if you can. I wonder if they have a home somewhere around here. Like they're guards, so. Oh, are they the ones guarding that castle? Or no, I think those are guarded by humans. Because in the last video I discovered a castle and I was assuming that they were from there. That's a dragon. That's a dragon. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, I feel like this is a very bad idea. I don't know if I should be doing this. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm talking so softly and so quiet, it's because it's, it's the morning. I just woke up, so I'm feeling a bit tired right now. Well, I'm not tired. It's just that I don't feel very energetic. I'm awake, but not awake, you know? I didn't have my morning coffee yet, so I'm trying to say. You know how some people can't function without having their morning coffee? That's not me. I can still function. It's just that, you know, I'm not, I'm not me, you know, when I don't have my coffee. My coffee. Remember that mean? Confefe? Where did that start? Was that a Trump thing? On Twitter? Or was that something else? I'm just talking out of my ass. Oh, it's raining. Would have been cool. Like, in this area, the rain was just blood. That would have been a really cool aesthetic. Okay, now where is it? Should be right here. Is that another? Oh, whoa, there's two more dragons. Is this like the land of dragons or something? Jesus. Oh, here it is. Praise the map. Dragon Barrow. That is the name of this location. That makes a lot more sense now. I was gonna say, like, why is it called Khalid if it's full of dragons? All right, so not really much to look at here. Um, there's some empty space over here that could be interesting, and there's this thing, obviously. Can I enter here? I wonder if these like smaller dragons are like weaker, so they're easier to fight. You know? Gonna leave that alone. I don't need no more flask. I don't think I can go there. I mean, there's something over there I can collect, but how do I get there? Safely. Jumping. I'm I'm looking at that blood over there, and I'm feeling that someone jumped on that bark. On that branch. And they just slid right off. Or maybe... Like, oh, no. You know what? It kind of looks like you can stand on it. But, I don't want to do that. Now let's go back to that castle looking thing over there, that gate, where I drop my runes, because I really want to pick that up. I have a weird tendency that whenever I start recording the other ring, I just like forget about my runes, and when I die, I just don't pick it back up for some reason. I've noticed I've done it twice now, while recording. But, like, I was thinking in my head like, why didn't I pick that up before dying first? I knew I was going to die, and I didn't pick up my runes. I don't know. I'm weird. Oh, it's one of these things. 
That does not show up in the map. If you don't know what this is, it's a... If you don't know what this is, it's a Evergal. An Evergal. I found another one of these over in... Over near Limegrave. Before you face the first one. Before you face the first boss. And essentially what it does is that when you stand on it, you can teleport to a... Like an altered alternate dimension or something. And it's like another boss is there just waiting for you. And I'm afraid what's waiting for me over here, so I'm not going to do it. I will do the one over at Lime Grave, though. Because the I think those are weaker. They should be. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. There's another dragon just chilling over there. No, never mind. I thought that was a dragon. I was thinking, like, why the heck is there, like, a random dragon just sitting over there? Uh Okay, that's an interesting looking design there. I'm not gonna fight it, but I will later. See, I don't feel really confident fighting right now because I don't wanna lose my runes. Okay, glowing people, going in the right direction. There we go. This time I'm going this way. Just gonna rush in and just pick up my runes and then rush out. He's about to throw something. Stop by the shack. Uh, oh, hey there. Oh, a pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gary, a great sage. In my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the Scarlet Swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret, I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. I mean, is there something wrong with this? I don't see anything wrong. Willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. So I help him, and then he'll give me secrets, like I guess secret chest or where to go for some cool stuff. And is that his dog or something? Because it looks... Is it behaved? No? Okay, it is not behaved. I'm gonna get out of there. It wasn't attacking, so I was like, okay, is it nice? Be wary, mage. Celia, town of sorcery. Glenstone Firefly. Yeah, you know what? Something I forgot to mention. Back here, in... Which one was it? It was over here. Yeah, Waypoint Rune Cellar. I think it was here. I went back here because I discovered it before. And I didn't know this, but I went back because there's a uh, downstairs and it leads to a pumpkin head boss. Just one of them. And I defeated it and past it was a woman that would offer like sorcery skills. Like, you know, offer me it. And I want to do it, but I don't have the right, like always, I don't have the right requirement to be able to do it.
None of that magic shit. What do they drop? Row of fruits. I imagine they drop like magic related stuff. Like magic crafting, magic trading, stuff I can use. Because you don't have to be a mage in order to use magic, but I guess it's more powerful if you are a mage. And what is this? Treasure head. I learned about that going through the catacombs. It's a very useful skill that I should have been doing the whole time, but I just learned it. Oh no! Whoa! No! Close one. Oh. Nope. Don't, don't. Here, let's get some privacy. There we go. Much better. How dare you interrupt my battle? You're so rude. Yeah, that one guy was just facing here. He's kind of tough. He's a tough mage. Now, when it says secrets, the guy over there, he's probably talking about these things. I don't like how these mages just come and go. Are they, like, made of magic or are they, like, ghosts? Seek something incredible. Now, see, the thing is with Dark Souls and Elden Ring is that you can leave these messages, and apparently it's very common for players to troll other players with these messages, like saying a joke or just like straight up lying. Try sniper. Now, see, that's a useful tip. I don't have a sniper. I don't even think Dark Souls has guns. Imagine if it did. That'd be so funny. Just blasting everything. The closest, the closest we got is a crossbow. Uh, okay, where else can I go? He said there was a sick girl somewhere around here, so... Better start looking for her. Would've been nice if whatever you, like, task you accept, it'd be on the side of your screen. And it would, like, tell you, like, oh, by the way, do this. Don't forget. Oh, it's a golden seed. No way. Oh, that means I can get another flask. Try fingers. <laughs> okay. Very original. See, like one of those messages, like, ha, got him. Got you. Oh no! Don't jump!
Fire required ahead. Seek ladder. Acquired ahead. Here. Praise the tarnished. So, what happens if we do this? A seal was broken in town somewhere. Oh, was that for the barriers on the doors? It says somewhere, so I don't think not all of them broke. Something incredible ahead. Toxic mushrooms. Gross. Oh, no. Oh, God damn it. Okay. They got me. Hold on, before you kill me, let me grab my stuff first. Yeah, look at that, learn a new trick. Nope. Okay. Wow. Another just came out of nowhere. Well, at least my runes dropped at an easier spot. Okay, well, that's enough of that. I will visit that later and do that sometime else. What's this here? Was that over there? It looks like, um, it looks like this. It looks like one of the, where is it? It kind of looks like that, the Sophia River, River Well, River Well. Sorry, I can't talk very clearly right now. There's nothing but the edge over there. How do you get up here? On the mountain. Do I have to go all the way back around? Can't open the map. Got the way to... Whoa. I'm just gonna have to wait for the enemies to stop chasing after me, even though there's no one around me. Oh, come on! Oh my god, those things see you from a mile away. Okay, all right, now, where am I? 
Oh, I'm in I'm back here. Okay, cool. So, where did I die? I was over here. Okay, yeah, I forgot. It shows where you died. Oh my god, my brain is not working right now. Okay, cool. So, I can go over there, grab my rune, and then teleport back here. As long as I don't disturb it. Oh, no. You know what? I might have to just go back to bed. <laughs> oh, no.